Hey guys, Jeff Disher, real estate broker with the Disher Group here at Douglas Element. And today I want to talk about five ways that you can get your offer accepted in today's market. As you know, in San Diego, it's very competitive here. And on most properties, there's multiple offers. So today I want to give you guys a few tips to help you get your offer accepted. We have a pretty good success right here at the Disher Group. So I figure I'd share some of these tips to you guys. Let's jump into it. All right, number one is going to be make sure that your agent is building rapport with the listing agent, okay? I can't tell you how many times um, I'm on the listing side and I'll receive multiple offers and only one or maybe two of the agents actually reach out to me and introduce themselves, tell me a little bit about their buyer. And to me and from other agents I've spoke to, it's huge. This is a huge thing. So make sure, again, that your agent is reaching out to the listing agent and building rapport. Number two is gonna be make sure that your offer is as clean as possible. And what I mean by that are, um, there are multiple different uh, facets of the offer. There's different, there's contingencies, there's um, uh, home warranty, there's closing costs, there's days of escrow, there's title companies, there's escrow companies. Make sure that while they're reaching out to that other agent, they're getting the title company, the escrow company that they prefer. You write that in, it's clean. Um, if there's multiple offers, do not ask for a home warranty. I'm just telling you now, um, some people might disagree with me, but make it clean. Uh, to the seller, it looks like a big cost, even though it's only a few hundred dollars. But if that house really means that much to you, just waive that. Waive the home warranty, honestly, and pay for it for yourself. It's good for one year, it covers the appliances, a few other things, but if I were you and it's competitive, you want to get your offer accepted, waive it, okay? Um, contingency, shorten those periods, you know? It doesn't take 21 days to get a loan approval. If you have a great lender that you trust that's good, they'll get it done in 14, 10, even. Um, there's other things that you can do to clean up your offer, okay? If you need termite, ask for it. If not, that's debatable. But make sure that you keep it as clean as possible, okay? Um, number three is gonna be submit a full, clean package, which means when you submit your offer, don't just submit it with just the offer, the RPA, send it over and go, okay, thanks, have a great day. No, clean. Make sure that there's a clean body in the email. It, pinpoints and bullet points everything in the offer. Attach not only your RPA, which is your residential purchase agreement, but your proof of funds, showing that you have money for the deposit and the down payment. Um, a letter, if possible, from you explaining why you and the, or you and your family want that property. Um, your approval letter, of course, always. And anything else, perhaps a picture of the family, that would show that you really want that property. Anything to, to tug at the emotional heartstrings of the seller, okay? Um, number four is gonna be um, attach, if, if possible, attach a escalation clause, okay? An escalation clause basically means that if there's multiple offers that come in and they know you know that because your good agent built rapport and asked the listing agent before they submit the offer, how many offers were on the table. But an escalation clause, what that'll do is if the, the property is listed at 500,000 and then you know there's multiple offers, day two, day three, day four, you know that they're probably over asking. So what you do is you submit in your offer under additional terms, you put, I want to submit an escalation clause with 1,000 over the highest and best offer with proof of page one. And what that does is it, whatever that highest price is, say it, it, it is 506 and you, you present your offer at 503 and the highest offer is 506. You're basically saying that you're willing to pay 507 as long as that listing agent gives you page one of that 506 offer and says, hey, 506 is our highest offer and we're willing to go 1000 over that with proof. So. I think it's it's a great thing to do, especially if the listing agent will entertain it and if you have the capability to do it. So make sure it's within your approval range and you're comfortable with the payment, but an escalation cause is always a great tool to use. So remember that. Last but not least is follow-up, okay? Make sure that after you submit your offer, your agent's following up. 
What I do is I text and I say, hey, just let you know, I have a clean offer in your email and everything's attached. I list what's attached and I say, if you have any questions, please, please allow me to answer them for you. Please reach out. I've also attached a lender's information if you'd like to reach out. But to take it a step further, once you submit that offer, contact the lender and say, hey buddy, can you give that listing agent a call? Here's information. Let them know how strong our buyer is. Let them know that you're at the table ready to rock and roll. You're ready to get this loan done and you can close on time, if not sooner. So follow up is very important. People want to know that the other side, they don't want the deal to fall apart. Okay. Listing agent, sellers, they want to make sure they have a competent professional agent on the other side. So make sure that your agent, even if you have to remind them, follows up. After you submit the offer, go, hey, just to, just to be sure and clarify, you're gonna reach out to them, let them know we submitted an offer, it's clean, here's where we're at, we're open to, to counter offers, let them know. So follow up is key, guys, trust me. On the listing side, I've been on it a lot. Um, and, and when I see other agents that are building rapport, that are sending clean offers, that are keeping everything um, a full package, that are following up with me, I like it. I work with those people. I'm more willing to work with them and, and, and uh, negotiate with them than I am with the other one that just sent over an offer. So I hope this helped. If you don't have an agent, reach out, we'll help you. We have a series of agents here that are very qualified that will get your offer accepted, I promise. And if we don't, we'll put you at the highest probability to get it off, uh, your offer accepted. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me, jeff at distrogroup.com. And you can please, if you will, follow me on all social media, including Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I sell real estate, Jeff Disher. Until then, happy house hunting.